Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I will be discussing about uh, your template ID controller 2416. The new version of this controller is 3216, however the configuration of them is almost the same. I will show how to do the communication settings and adjusting the PID gains uh, plus configuration of some other necessary parameters. First of all, I want to connect the controller to my computer to see if the interface communication card in your term controller is working and it sends and receives data correctly. For this goal, I use the converter module and connect it to PC. These three wires are connected to PID controller. Here you can see the rear view of the controller and the terminals. HD, HE and HF are the terminals that we will use for serial communication. Take into account that you have to order the serial communication card separately from controller and then install it in the controller case. In this picture you see that for two wire serial communication HD is common, HE is A plus and HF is B minus. Okay, now we have to set serial parameters. First, we go to access menu, insert one for the access code and select full. Now we have full access to parameters. Click on menu button uh, until you find CMS list, that is the communication list. And here we select eight for the Modbus device address. Keep in mind, if the controller doesn't have installed serial card, uh, it doesn't show the CMS list. In next step, go to HA and then you can do serial configuration. Click on the scroll button, ID is CMS. In this table, it shows that CMS is for these options. If ID is CMS, these following parameters are accessible. The function should be Modbus protocol. Mod rate is 19200, parity is even with no delay. Click on menu button until find exit and select yes. As you see, the present temperature is around 18. In Device Manager, we can find the number of USB serial port and here it is COM3. Run Q Mode Master and do the configuration to be able to connect to controller. Okay, it shows that the connection is okay, convert data format to decimal and this value is the pres uh, present value of the temperature or process value. It shows that the communication card of controller is working well. Now we run iTools configuration and do the same settings for serial port. In iTools software, we can scan the controller and we have to be patient because it, uh, sometimes it takes too much time. Okay, now we see the controller. Uh, I raise the measure temperature and you see the process value changes. In main menu, uh, we have access to process value and the set point.
in HA menu, uh, you see the serial parameters that we set before. You can also use the buttons under the controller screen to access to the parameters. Now I go to PID list, there are two options, PID1 and PID2. I use PID1 list, PB is the proportional band and it has reverse relation to proportional gain. TI is integral time. And this is the derivative time. For both of integral time and derivative time, I usually insert enough big values to make them effectless on control loop and step by step I decrease them to achieve the desired response with almost zero steady state error, uh, less fluctuations over set point with favorable rise time. Okay, click on menu button until you see the process value and the set point. The next menu is about program list. It uses when you want to follow a temperature profile. So go to program list. The first parameter is HP or hold back. If the measured value lag behind the set point or deviate from it by an undesirable amount, Hold back will freeze the program at its current state. There are four different options for hold back, off, low, high and band. I usually select band because it's a combination of low and high. It holds the program back when the process variable deviates either above or below the set point. Uh, by more than the hold back value and this is the hold back value the next parameter is ramp units that can be second hour or minute this is a dwelling unit that can be set like ramp unit in cycle one uh, you can define different number of segments As you see in this picture, it shows different uh, types of the segment, ramp, dwelling, a step, uh, or also you can call the uh, an, another program as subroutine, or it can be also the end of the cycle. Here, segment number one is a an step, and uh, the target set point is 240 degree. Uh, segment 2 is a uh, dwelling time and the duration is set to 1 uh, hour and uh, segment number 3 is the end. And end type is, uh, is dwelling. As an example for uh, this uh, set point program, uh, there are totally five segments. Segment one is an step uh, for two hours and the target set point is 50. Segment number two is a ramp uh, in a set time or rmp.t. 
Ramp time is 3 hours to target 200 degree. Segment 3 is dwelling time for 5 hours. Segment 4 is RMP.T for 4 hours to target 25. Segment 5 is the end and the end type is dwelling. Okay, that's it. In next step, we want to see how to connect the PID controller to a Schneider PLC in SOM machine software by Modbus RTU RS485 protocol. The goal is sending measured value of the temperature to the PLC M241. Uh, in serial line number 1 of the PLC M241, uh, I have added Modbus IR scanner before, uh, so uh, the PLC should be as a master. Uh, we right click on the IO scanner and select generic Modbus slave that will be the 2416 controller. I select number 4 uh, for the slave address. And I change the PID controller mode was as mode was address to four. Go to mode bus slave channel. Access type is uh, read holding registers. Uh, I put two in length of it, and uh, it means that it reads two registers from zero offset. Go to I.O. mapping. For the second register, I use the integer variable that I defined in global variable. Uh, that is the temperature process value. Okay, that's it. Now we go to online mode and you can see the temperature is 69 degrees. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and please like this video and subscribe the channel. Have a good time.